was he's, you know, he'd be, he was a good lad, he'd, he'd worked hard to get his degree and study and he'd never been in any trouble and they were all horrified really and although they knew he'd done wrong, they were sympathetic, you know, they were very sympathetic but I want you to think about, I mean, I'm not saying that any of you will do drugs, I mean, you know, but who knows? Who knows what temptations? We all say we won't do this, that and the other, but then all it takes is one night, isn't it? You know, feeling happy and, oh, I'll have a go. I can stop at any time. And that's how it starts, doesn't it? Um, and that's, and this is how it ended. But anyway, <laughs> it has a happy ending <laughs> because although I was very ashamed of Sean doing this, I mean, after the shame went, all I thought about then was him, and I just wanted to help him and support him. And he's turned something that was very negative into something positive, because he's turned it round. So, and by the fact that he's doing these talks and he's helping other people, so he's created something positive out of all the horror that happened to him. Because how he coped being in prison with these people, I don't know. But it's strange, really. I'm saying these people, but they're all human beings. Because my husband and I visited Sean every year. And we got to know murderers and people who'd done different things. But we got to see the human side of them. So they do little drawings for me and pictures and send me postcards and... Uh, Zena, uh, he, he was in, he'd been put in charge of the gardens and he was in, in Arizona in this 120 degree heat. He was growing all these beautiful flowers and he'd get, come with a little bunch of flowers, you know, and it, no matter what anybody's done, they're human beings. And I think that's what it taught me because to me, prison was something that happened to other people, not my family. You know, it was. And it, whereas once I'd been to the prison, and it, it's, it's just another world, it's a, it is a different world, and, and you don't think it can happen to you, but you, you can see how easily from Sean's story that it can happen. So, like I say, I'm very proud of him now, and I'll not get over it because it's I saw I it was when they say when somebody goes to prison, their family are imprisoned as well. And that's true, because that's how it was. His, his sister as well suffered. She had to have counselling. And, you know, it, so it, it's affected everybody. And, and I'll never get over it, and I'll never forget it. But the, I think now sometimes if he can save some kids from going down that path, you know, if, if he can go to a school and he can save some, even one child from going down that path, that all the suffering that we've been through is, is, is worth it. Although I wouldn't have said that at the time, <laughs> but looking back now, I do. And he gets emails constantly. Uh, there was one last week, a girl who said that she was considering trying, she had smoked pot and she was considering trying harder drugs. But she said, after uh, Sean's talk, it's made me stop and think about the direction I want my life to go in. So, um, so there you are. You've got to think about your loved ones. If ever you feel as though you're going to get, it's not just you, is it? If you do something good, you, it's like it ripples in a pond. You spread good and happiness, don't you? But if you do something bad, that spreads the negative vibes, doesn't it? So, um, thanks for listening to me. And if you've got any questions me anything at all it doesn't matter whether you think it's embarrassing anything at all for me or sure and um, please do <laughs> <laughs>